A little over six months ago, the British people voted for change. On June the 23rd, 2016, the United Kingdom made a decision to leave the European Union through a referendum. The poll turned out 52% to leave and 48% to stay. The total turnout of the poll was 71% of the whole population. Why do you want to leave? Why do you want uh, the UK out of the EU? We want to take back control of our laws, of our democracy, of our borders, and of our taxes and our money. Uh, we certainly don't want to cut all ties with Europe, as Benjamin was saying just there. That, I, I've, never, I've never heard anyone suggesting that. We just want a, a, a gradual return of powers so that we can be a self-governing country such as you or any other independent state in the world takes for granted. Although the media emphasize negative aspect of remaining in the European Union, many citizens in central London seem to think Brexit was an irrational choice. Some of their opinions are as follows. We don't literally just do anything and guarantee like maybe a hundred to a thousand people will see it. But I think like TV is slowly dying. I feel like social media has become like it's become like channel four, it's become like ITV, it's become like channel five, like social media is like all those programs. I never, I never get involved in social media. You might expect me to say that. The decision was made by the masses on the basis of miscommunication or disinformation. I think, uh, I think there wasn't a single um, either politician or, or media who informed the population well. Oh, I don't think that there are very many good things about Brexit. I really want to stay part of Europe, so um, it would be a mistake, I think, to, to leave. can't see any point in moving away from where we have established markets. Um, in the time that, uh, that we've decided to come away from Europe, we've, the pound has depreciated in value by 20%. Um, Nothing seems to have, we haven't gained anything by it, we haven't established new markets anywhere. But if you were to make this, if, if you were to make this vote today, I suspect that there would be a majority in favour of staying in Europe, because a lot of people who voted to come out now realise how difficult it is. But there we are. We will lose, maybe lose the EC market, a lot of the markets, but I'm fairly optimistic although things are undecided that we will find other markets worldwide. I think it's thrown the whole country into disarray and I think uh, we are showing a lack of leadership at the moment which is because nobody really knows what to do. Um, I say the main point for me is I'm a job student and um, I want to go into research. Obviously a lot of our grants are research from the international community when they um, leave the EU. Um, I personally am a German citizen and um, Brexit, I know for many of my friends who are also from the EU, it's made us feel not welcome in this country and this, in this anymore and many are thinking of leaving and uh, we lose a lot of skills and uh, connections to the world. It, it, I don't think it will affect my employment. The only thing as an employer it might affect is obviously I won't be able to employ people so easily, I don't think, from the European Union. It's going to potentially, in terms of um, tourism, I think it's going to put the British people in other countries and see them in a negative light. So obviously travelling abroad, I think people are going to be more kind of, there are going to be a lot more stereotypes about the Brits. I think um, I think Brexit was a smokescreen anyway. Um, I think that for so much of this country, it sees London uh, as an entity, and then there's the rest of the country. And the um, market has uh, market is diminished quite a bit in terms of the posts available and um, the rate that you can get paid. 